Solani mother left struggling after the vehicle she depends on to care for her handicapped son gets totaled in a serious car accident. It's also leaving her without the resources to help others in need besides her son. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has her story. Well, it's a pretty important vehicle, not only for getting her son to the doctor's office, but also for what she does in here, packing hundreds of bags like this one with food and distributing them to those in need. I was very scared. I didn't know if she was going to make it. It's a son left emotional, but relieved that his mother is still here. Just over a month ago, Kim Hoppy got caught in a terrible accident that almost claimed her right foot. Young lady hit my full size E-150 at 90 plus miles an hour. Because of that, I spent two days in the hospital with a shattered ankle. That ankle luckily saved by doctors, but the vehicle she was in, a 1998 retrofitted van, couldn't be salvaged leaving her temporarily handicapped and unable to properly care for her disabled son. It's our only vehicle, and because Paul uses a power chair, we can't get in any old kind of car. With spina bifida, Paul has come to depend on the vehicle to get to doctor's appointments. But it goes even further than that. Hoppy telling us she relies on that car to distribute hundreds of food packages weekly to students in need. I'm the number one backup person, so I'm the person that delivers and picks up these backpacks. She says she needs the van as the new school year begins, but estimates on a new barrier free and handicapped accessible van are at $40,000. They're just so specialized that I can't just run to my local dealership and say, hey, have you got a lift van? But despite the challenges financially, Paul says he's choosing to remain positive. Well, get a vehicle again. You have to be optimistic. And of course, the family is on the hunt for a new handicapped accessible vehicle. If you have one that you can donate, make sure to reach out to me. You can send me an email. In the meantime, they also have a GoFundMe page set up. We're going to post the details of that on WXYZ.com. For now, reporting in Ypsilanti, Amira David, 7 Action News. Thank you, Amira. That story came through, uh, through our tip line there. And if you have any tips you'd like to send us and see if we can get them on TV for you, just call the number on your screen. 248-827-9252 or email to that tips at WXYZ.com.